What's up everybody? I'm back with another video and this one is all about my current natural hair routine. Over the last five years growing my hair, I have tried a lot and I have failed a lot. But this is a routine I found I can be consistent with and it prevents me from neglecting my curls. Before we jump in, here are a couple things to know about my hair. It's high porosity, high density with fine strands. It responds well to products with a creamy and milky type of consistency and of course, those with some slip. My hair's name is Homegirl and we rock together heavy. First things first, let's get into wash day. I begin with pre-pooing and try my very best to use only my fingers for detangling at this step. I'll get into products that I like in a separate video, but just know the more slip for pre-pooing, the better. Once my hair is nice and detangled, I typically get in the shower and shampoo in two or three sections. I found that my hair does best with a moisturizing and non-stripping shampoo, and that a single thorough cleanse is enough to get my hair and scalp squeaky clean. When it comes to deep conditioners, slip is a must. I detangle in four sections to try to keep things going and typically cover my hair in a plastic cap for a little bit before I rinse it out. Once I rinse out my deep conditioner, I apply my leave-in in the shower in those same four sections, put on a plastic cap, and make my beautiful exit. A major key for me is giving my leave-in conditioner time to soak into my hair. Detangling immediately after applying my leave-in conditioner is just the equivalent of the three X's on Family Feud. It's just not a good idea. My next step is detangling my entire head. I start off with finger detangling and then use a brush to go in and get them roots, baby. After that, it's almost time to wrap it up. I go back through with my cream or custard and then whatever my sealant of choice is, twist my hair up, give it some time to air dry and then stretch it with the Revair. Now, I think to myself, is this a quasi wash and go? Yes, it is. I'm just not letting my hair air dry in its shrunken state completely. I just let my hair dry enough so that I can put it in the Revair and stretch it out. Once my wash day is complete and my hair is stretched, I spend the next seven days sleeping with a satin scarf. I'm trying to get better using my scarf on the couch because when I say my hair in a couch be K-I-S-S-I-N-G, it's not good leads to breakage. But aside from that, I pretty much have the same routine. I do not spray my hair with anything or apply any product until a week has passed. On the sixth or seventh day, this is when I go in with what I call my curl refresh. I'll be posting another video about what that entails, but just think of it as my natural hair halftime, where I give my hair a chance to be detangled and re-moisturized before wash day. After my curl refresh, I typically go another six or seven days, like the first week, and then it's time to wash my hair all over again. So in short, I wash my hair every two weeks and I detangle my hair every week. So that's a little bit of information about Homegirl and the natural hair routine I'm currently rocking with. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.